Hello and welcome to Richard's Home Mechanics and we're back on the Astra and today we're going to put the front brake pads on it ready for its MOT in a few weeks time. Um, safety first as you can see we've jacked it up and we've put axle stands underneath there and what you need to do you need to just give the car a quick move make sure all's good on there and uh, it's not going to come down on you. We've also popped the bonnet open and opened the reservoir cap so when we push the caliper back, if there isn't any excess liquid in there, it's going to come out and go onto the rag, which will catch it. So let's crack on, let's get these brake pads changed, shall we? Okay, let's get this wheel off. Let's have another close inspection of these pads. Let's turn this steering wheel round. Right, let's have a look. Right, looks like there's a couple of little rubber caps on there. We've got to just whip them off to get to the sliders to drop that off. So let's have a look. Get the old pry bar. There's one. There's two. All right, they're Allen keys. So you need to just take these little sliders out for the looks of it. There we go. What I'm going to do, I've got a little torque bar here just to help crack them off. There's one. I use that quite a bit actually, just a little torque bar. So it's an old bar there, just stick it over the end of the uh, Allen key to see a little bit of torque. There we go. Right, so what I'll do, we'll come back to this in a minute. I'm just going to undo these and then we'll be ready to slide the caliper off. Right, I've undone the little sliders, that's what holds the caliper on. And what we're going to do, we'll clean them up and grease them up in a little while. But we need to just get this caliper off. Sometimes they're really, really tight. Let's give it a little tap. Here we go. And there you go, that's the caliper off. Right, let's have a look. Right. Let's get the brake pads. Let's go over and get the brake pads and clean all this up before we fit. Right, now we've got the caliper loose, we're going to take the brake disc pad out, like so. And what we need to do is we need to wind this caliper back. And the way you can do it, I've got special, you can get special wind back tools, but I still resort back to the old G cramp with a bit of wood like this. Put it over like that, and we're going to wind the caliper back ourselves. See that? It's going to wind the caliper back using the D cramp. There we go. You want to get this back as far as possible because it makes it a lot easier to get the brake pads in. So we're winding that back. You see, that's retracting, we're going back into the, the piston, brake piston, it's going back into its pot. We'll wind that right back as far as you go. But that is done. I'm going to give it a little clean. Be careful not to damage the seal on the actual piston itself. Right. What we're going to do now, I'm going to put a bit of copper grease on this. This stops it squeaking and helps it move. A little bit of copper grease, like so. 
Then we're going to put this brake pad back in, like so. And that should just push in there, like so. That's that bit done. Um, what have we got here? Right, take this brake pad out. And you look how thin they are. Absolutely knackered, aren't they? That's going, that's no good for man or beast. We're going to give us a little clean down here. Right, you have a brake pad, let's see how she goes in. Like that, a bit of copper grease. There we go. Helps that slide along there. A little bit in there, a little bit in there. That's in there. Now hopefully we're gonna try and push the caliper back on. Hopefully that'll go. So, right, quite simple really isn't it? That's back on, what we've got to do next. Like that, let's have a look. A little spring here. Right, I'm just gonna sort this spring back. And we'll right, we're back. back on it now. Just had to have a little bit of a fiddle, a little bit of play, but I'm happy with that calibers now, I'm nice and safe. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna give the um, locating pins, the sliding pins there, a quick clean with wet and dry, just to get a any surface rust, because these need to be able to slide, the caliper slides on these, so just a little clean. Nothing too drastic. Give it a wipe with the cloth, like that. Again, the other one. All we're doing is we're getting the surface rust off. You want it, these pins need to be able to move freely. Right, give them a wipe. I'm going to give them a little bit of a lubrication. Don't need much, just a little. Just one. This is what actually holds the caliper to the caliper holder. So let's put these back in. <sighs> Blue and hell, busy, busy. Here we go. There's one. That feels like two. Right, what we're going to do, I'll come back. I'm just going to nip these up, then we'll get on to the next stage. Right, we're just going to nip these last few bits up in the caliper. One there. That's tight. And I think we've just got a locating spring to push round. Like so. That sits in there like that. Jobs are good. Right, we'll put the wheel on and we'll try it. And then we'll do the other side. And then hopefully this will be ready for the next MOT. The brakes are done. Thank you for watching my uh, video on YouTube, Richard's Home Mechanics. And don't forget my midweek blog. Catch you next time on Richard's Home Mechanics. Goodbye for now.